Conan, can you have anything to add to that, apart from the fact that Australia um, won? Yeah, Australia were good. We're very good. I was impressed. Uh, I suppose it's different for me because I play with all these guys. I know I'm finished now, but I'm shattered. It's I was at pitch level. I think they won the body language battle, and uh, a lot stems from that. But it's not all doom and gloom. That sport, that happens. You know what I mean? I think we need to get behind the team now and just, you know, less than 80 minutes ago, we were probably gone the other way about the team, that they were a little bit better than they were. Today we got badly beaten by a good side, but I think uh, it can be turned around. When we attacked, we looked deadly. I thought maybe that was three or four minutes of 80 minutes, but we did look good. And there are, I think, uh, glimmers of hope there. We're blooding a lot of y young players. Some of these players are finding it difficult, like all young players are. You have to persevere with these guys. They're the best we have at club level, so... The step up is difficult, but I'm telling you, it's oh. tough, but we'll get there. That body language thing is fascinating. What do you mean by that, Ronan? <laughs> I just, uh, because I'm down here, you, yeah, you yeah. can watch it, you know, and, and Shaggy will know all about it from playing because it, the little things about pushing fellas on the ground, getting up off the ground that split second uh, faster, getting into the defensive line, are you talking more aggressively than your opponent? Are you getting in a dirty little remark to him? I suppose the disappointing thing for me, the one thing that disappointed me was when Kudriani spear tackled uh, Omani, there was no reaction. In our time, I suppose, and it's not long ago, he would have got his head knocked off. Right. And that's what you need to be. But I was delighted that we finished strong. We came back at them. We play, kept playing till the end because I've been there when the, you know, when the tide is against you, all you want is the final whistle. But th the lads hung in there. They dug, they dug for in for each other. Next week is difficult, obviously, but uh, I... I can guarantee you this can be turned around. Like getting your teeth drilled here, but we must talk New Zealand. They're in town next week. And there's a lot of injuries out there. Uh, Johnny Sexton's gone. Looks like Carney might be gone. He's got to put a team together. We'll face in New Zealand next week. He does, you know. But there, that is a great challenge, and players will be excited by that, and they'll just want to put this to bed. They'll be very disappointed what, what went on. But the challenge of New Zealand will focus them very um, quickly. What's interesting there, what Ronan said, and I think we spoke about it up here, we couldn't believe that the mm. players didn't go in and protect... Uh, protect um, Peter who was it? Who was it, it was the, Peter O'Mahony. Yeah, Peter O'Mahony. Like, as Ronan said, in... the in, in a team with a Munster team or a Leinster team or Ulster team, Connacht, they would have had four or five players right. in there protecting got, the player. Yeah.